Hello there, my wonderful viewers. I hope everything is going well for you today. Today we have episode 2 of the DVD Studio Pro series, and today we're looking at how to get your footage ready for compre er, DVD Studio er, yeah, DVD Studio Pro using Compressor, which is a program that comes with the Final Cut Studio Suite. If you don't have it, most likely you didn't install it when you're in in installing the full suite. Um, possibly, you might have deleted it somehow, I don't know. Anyways, um, check your computer to see if you have it. If so, great. If not, install it. Uh, it's a great program and I love it. So anyways, here we got a final edit um, in the Final Cut Studio, or Final Cut Pro. Um, we got some different, um, this is a concert that my friends are, my school is holding. We got some different performers here with a little bit of a text in between each um, performance. If we zoom in here, we can kind of see we have the name of the piece, who's it by, and also the performer name. Um, so anyways, once we get that all finally edited, all that we want to do is put an in point and an out point. More or less to mark um, where we're going to send this clip, um, how much of this footage we're going to send to compressor. So at the very last frame, hit the O key to set an out point. Um, if you don't know which one is the last frame, you can see over here in the right hand side we have this backwards L. Um, that's always an uh, indication for the last frame, so make sure you select it on that. Um, to the very first frame, hit the I key. Again, we can see that we have a normal L here, so that's how we know it's the very first frame. Once that's all finished, come up here to File, Send To, and then Compressor. Um, this will then open up Compressor. We can um, double check, make sure that we are using the right footage by hitting the sequence button up here. Um, and then we can kind of scan through on the timeline here, make sure we have everything um, properly edited and make sure we're actually exporting what we want to export. So um, the first thing we want to do is find a preset. Um, I like the presets that Apple sends along with this program. I think they're great. They work really well. And I'm also going to give you guys a couple little tips about them. Um, so here we have the Apple folder. and the first folder is Apple devices. Now, this is mostly for, um, you know, Apple's iPods or the iPhones or the Apple TV. So, if you're using one of those, if like one of those is your main target, you can use one of those. If you're looking for a DVD, we have a bunch of different presets here. We have the uh, best quality. Um, best quality definitely is going to take um, the longest amount of time because you know it takes a lot of time to um, go through a two scan process, making sure you only have what you really need in there. You also have the fastest encoding, which you know if it's like 2 a.m. and this big project is due the next day, you can use that. Or for those of you that need really small file sizes, if you have like four out of four hours of footage, you can use the MPEG-1 for um setting. Um, in the MPEG-1, we only have 8.72 megabytes per hour, versus something like with the um, DVD best in, uh, best quality for 90 only 90 minutes, it's like 2.79 gigabytes per hour. We can see all this over here in the inspector window. Um, see all the different um, aspects of that preset. So if you need something very um, small file size, MPEG-1 is the way to go. Um, here we also have some HD presets. Um, they work pretty nicely. Sadly, I do not have an HD DVD burner, which you really do need um, in order to burn a DVD or a high-definition um, high DVD. The reason why I need one is because a HD DVD burner or you know Blu-ray burner they use actually blue lasers um, versus the traditional red laser that the normal DVDs use. So technically it's like physically impossible to burn one of those DVDs. Um, also you're going to need an actual Blu-ray DVD, you know, a blank disc that are um, one of the Blu-ray discs. You can get those at Best Buy or maybe at Walmart or something like that. Um, you can also get the normal DVDs there too. So really you do need a um, proper high, def um, high, def high definition, <laughs> it's hard to say. High definition burner. There we go. Um, here's some other different workflow options. Um, so let's say we just have some footage or something. We have just some plain old footage burners, or um, also some audio presets, which are pretty nice. Um, here we have some other workflows. So for you know podcasting, or if you're looking for something to go onto the web, we have those options here too. And there's also a folder for all your different um, custom presets. Um, so. You know, if you have something that you always like to use and you think it looks great, you can save that and use it as a custom one. Anyways, we're going to look into the Apple folder here, go into the DVD option. And if you look at my timeline, we only have just under an hour of footage. So we're going to be looking at a preset that's about, uh, you know, 60 minutes, a little bit more if we can, um, for footage, you know, um, for compressing time. 
because we really want that to be um, our target. Um, here we have the DVD best quality for 90 minutes. Um, that looks like the, um, the best option because I don't have a high def um, high definition burner. So sadly, I can't use you know the perfect HD DVD H.264 60 minutes. So we're just going to come up here, hit DVD best quality 90 minutes. Take that entire folder and drag it right onto the sequence 1. Um, now as you can see here, we have the footage and also the audio. Those two are going to be split. Um, generally speaking, using um, you know the fancy compressors like this, they're always going to be split. So, want to make sure you keep that in mind. Now, here it says source. This is where it's going to um, be exported to. So, this um, specific folder that you're going to be um, more or less saving this final file to. Um, we obviously don't want to buy the source. Um, it could get a little more com um, confused that way. So, we're going to need a destination. Go down to other, and on the desktop, I'm just going to make a brand new folder. Um, call this La La Land, all caps, no spaces. I don't know why, but there it is. Then we're gonna hit open, and now as we can see here, we have La La Land for both of the compressors, as far as a final export place. Um, over here on the right hand side, we have the um, actual name of the file. So this performance um, was the Solo Ensemble competition. So I'm gonna say Solo Ensemble, um, maybe audio. We want to get really specific. And then down below here, I'm going to save this one as the Solo Ensemble video. Video. There we go. More or less, that's all we really need to do. Um, also, one last tip. If we look over here into the preview window, we can kind of see a little bit of what the final product is going to look like. Um, this little bar right here is going to be more or less how much is the original. And this, um, pulling it far to the left, is going to show what the final compression is. Um, compression is going to kind of look like. So if we hit the play button. So, some of this, um, and if you notice a little bit, the frames are being dropped left and right. That's because this is a RAM preview. This isn't like an actual professional fancy schmancy preview. This is just a quick preview that your computer is rendering up. So um, if you're you know, being a little bit afraid that maybe the final product is going to have a lot of dropped frames, um, don't worry about that. I used to worry about that a lot. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, it's looking terrible. This is not going to turn out the way I want it at all. Um, but then I realized that my computer was um, just being slow as far as rendering it. And again, if you pull it all the way to the right-hand side and we hit play, I think you're playing too loud, though. we can see a little bit of the original footage. So that's just a nice little tip. Um, I really want to base too much of um, the final product on this slider. And um, overall in this window in general, just don't pay a whole lot of attention to it. Not the uh, not the best idea. So now, once we have all um, set up, we have the proper um, compression type. We have the destination. We have the name. We're gonna come over here and hit submit. We're gonna hit and uh, create a name for this. So again, how about La La Land? You can really call it whatever you want. Um, cluster. So if you're working for a big company and if you have like a cluster computer, more or less a computer with you know super big RAM and everything that you um, compress everything on, you can actually do that here. Um, obviously, I don't have that. I'm just on my one computer, so I'm gonna cluster it at this computer. And here we have the different priorities. So like, let's say you're compressing a bunch of different projects at the same time. Um, we can do the we can change that um, the priority so low. This way, a computer will you know, put, um, push other things to a higher, um, more or less have it more focused, the computer's power, um, so it goes quicker. Obviously, we're only doing one here, so I'm going to hit high, hit submit, and then over here in the history window, um, we can see La La Land being compressed, or, you know, the solo ensemble being compressed to the La La Land. <laughs> that just sounds so weird. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get your footage ready for DVD Studio Pro. In episode 3, we're going to more or less start off right where we left off here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, remember to hit the subscribe button up above. If you guys want to see more, check us out on Facebook. That link is down below in the description. Or also, check out our brand new website. Um, it's pretty new. I like the way it's designed and um, probably bound to change. So tell me what you guys think. If you guys have any requests for future tutorials, you can leave those on my channel page under the YouTube moderator module. Alright, well, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the future. Bye.